Good morning. In today's session, we are going to look about the communication between different distributed objects. So this section mainly deals with communication between distributed objects and the communication is carried out using mainly four things. The first one is object model. Second one is DOM. It is also called as distributed object model. And the third one is RMI. You all know about RMI. You have studied it in operating systems. That is remote method invocation. And the last one is distributed garbage collection. So here, in first thing, we are going to look in about object model. So we all know about objects consist of a set of data and methods. An object communicate with other objects by invoking their methods. That is generally by passing arguments and receiving results. Objects can encapsulate their data and code of their methods in DS, that is distributed systems, and objects data should be accessible only via its methods. So next thing we are going to look about the five important parts of object model. The first one is object reference. Objects can be accessed via object references. The second one is interface. It provides a definition of a set of methods that without specifying their implementation. And the third one is actions. Action in an object oriented program is initiated by an object invoking a method of another object. Next, the la fourth one is exceptions. It provides a clean way to deal with unexpected events or errors. The examples are throw and catch. Next one is garbage collection. It provides a means of freeing the space and clearing the objects and applications that is no longer needed. So the object model is over. Next we are going to see what is DOM that is distributed object model. So the main fundamental concept in distributed object model are remote object reference and remote interface. The remote object reference is an object that is an object must have the remote object reference of an object in order to do remote invocation of an object. A remote object reference is nothing but it is an identifier that can be used in a distributed system to refer to a particular unique remote object. Next, the third communication is carried out by using RMI, that is remote method invocation. So we are going to look what is RMI. So each process contains object. We all know about that. Some of which can receive remote invocations are called remote objects. Objects need to know the remote object reference of an object in another process in order to invoke its methods. It is called as remote method or invocation or simply remote invocation. This is a simple architecture of an RMI that is a client request server and server after gets a request it processes it and gives back replay to the client. So here when client requests something server replies. So what client request here in RMI? That's a question. So client request some kind of method okay to access some kind of open source methods or to access some particular kind of methods from servers that is located in servers this remote method invocation is used so what is the main real application for rmi rmi allows applications to call object method located remotely sharing resources and processing load access across the system. What does it mean? That is uh, located remotely means actually. Methods that you cannot make or when we make those methods, it will be time consuming. So instead of that, we call methods directly, which is located remotely using RMI. So that is what is meant by located remotely means in this definition. Next. 
processing load access across the system. What does it mean? If you have some kind of computation and you want to divide that load among other computers, RMI is used for that purpose too. So RMI is an object based. RMI is an object based language. So the last one is distributed garbage collection. We have already seen what is a distributed garbage collection. That is, it provides a means of freeing the space and clearing the objects. Here it is distributed objects and distributed applications which are no longer needed. So with this we complete the four uh, things or four objects that is mainly used for communication between distributed objects. I again repeat it is an object model, second one is distributed object model, RMI and distributed garbage collection. It's, it's a very simple topic and with this notes you can really achieve good marks in this in this exam. So if you like this video kindly like the video, share with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you for my support and do watch all other videos. Thank you. Have a good day.